A few weeks ago, we bought two minis. We bought one with a perfect shell, no rust, but it is pretty good at it. And this one we got, it is completely rusted out all the way down to the frame, but it has all of the parts that we're needing. And in this video, we're gonna be cutting out this nasty piece of frame here to get out of the way to replace it with a brand new piece. And on this car, taking off the front bumper so that we can get access to the engine uh, while also pulling out the door so that we can have access to the cabin. My name is James. And my name is Ethan, and welcome to Car Creations. So first things first, taking this off. And uh, we have air compressor, a bunch of tools. Yeah. Time to get started, eh? Yes, sir. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're measuring the distance from a mainframe of the car to the front of the car so that we can keep the same dimensions when we put in the new panel right here. So the dimension that we uh, we have here, as you can see, is 27 and 5 eighths. Wow. Satellite crashed because uh, they had two teams working on it, one using Imperial and the other using Metric. Metric, yeah. <laughs> With the grinder, I think. Cars are just so easy. Let's uh, cut back this clip in a couple of weeks. Yeah, or a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not. Hopefully we can drive this before I'm um, like 20. See this point right here where my fingernail is? That's where the overlapping seam is. Looks like you are the engine. Yeah, that's nice, right there. Oh, that was good. You know, there's nothing like having the right tools either. This little puppy down here, which is from the 1940s, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Single piston compressor and uh, well, check out the uh, electric. Everything exposed. Yeah, that's standard, right? I mean, yeah, that's operating procedure right there. Pressure switch isn't working properly, so it just keeps pumping. So at some point in time, I guess you expect to explode. <laughs> so we've we've done away with it. Unfortunately, we can't use the air tool. This compressor, which is still in the crate, so it's not very useful right now. So we're at back at the battery drill. So sorry, James. Wow, gracious! I did not expect that. Put your glasses on, help the safety is here. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think what we'd do is just take a cut through like the top here. Public mm. safety guy, do you approve of this method? Sure. Oh, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> it's too late though. You should have said something sooner. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you find a hole in something, the best thing to do is make a bigger hole. <laughs> And that's what we did. Just like that, it's easy. <laughs> we just need a few more parts for this air compressor that we set up here. That was something else we did. Air compressor. So we started uh, getting parts. We got tractable hoses. We got the air compressor in its position. We got to run some electrical, some more hose uh, components, like filters, uh, adapters, just all of that stuff. Get it all set up and then we'll be ready to go. Air tools are way nicer than drills, by the way. This in comparison to like a handheld drill, much lighter, more compact, you can get in. So much easier around the tight high areas. So we've gotten off this battery panel. Now we're gonna head over to the other Mustang, pull off the front bumper so that we can eventually get the engine out of that car. And maybe we can get the radiator and try to fit it in here. Oh. That might be cool. Put it into all three gears. Oh dude, we're in first. 
Yeah, it works. We're currently sitting inside the 1967, very moth-eaten slash mouse slash rat-eaten. Just getting a feel for how it might feel when we get the other one all set up. We're gonna be disassembling some pieces off of this car, if we can find anything good. And this wheel is very, very flat. But I say we get the door off, because this has been bothering us for a long time. Slab of Bondo. So, what I'm thinking is that we undo these bolts here, and this whole door should be able to come off. That's the idea. Whether or not that will happen or not. Do you have any idea how fast you were going? Uh, no sir. I'm sorry. My speedometer isn't working. Gotta say though, nice jacket. Oh yeah. Look at this. We made Sheesh. ourselves custom jackets to work on the Mustang. Oh yeah. And this jacket is a little bit different. Here, James, hold, hold this. Oh. Pretty good, eh? That is nice. If you guys want that design in the back of a shirt, let us know. We'd love to create a few uh, few merch items. What team are you on? Team Mustang or Team Mini? Yeah. And <laughs> I'll show a picture of it here. We have one for Josh's BMW too. So uh, we have Team BMW. Uh. Was that it? Got him. Well, that was cool. That only took an hour. Awesome. The door finally off. That took way too much pain and effort. Take it apart so we can get these pieces off. We can do this, 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 this. Mirror, this mirror, the window. <laughs> the window inside, yeah. So we're working on getting all the stuff out the front here and then hopefully we can get the engine out. Oh, there it goes. First piece harvested from the Mustang. <laughs> One of many, hopefully. All right, should we go and install it? Let's see where this thing goes. It's freezing cold out here. Check, make sure the bolt holes line up. Yep. Yep. Well, she fit in perfectly, but we have to store it and keep it safe until we can actually put it in there. Because uh, we don't want to be welding around a uh, radiator. We might accidentally weld it to the frame. More sturdy that way, right? That's something Apple would do. Non-repairability. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or Tesla. <laughs> James is getting rid of some of these dangly bits here. This was right here. Latches and holding the front bumper on and stuff. Are we going to take this off to get the engine out too? Or are we going to... Yeah, might as well. Yeah. We, we don't need we to reserve any of that. We'll have to take off the brace arms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good thing health and safety wasn't out here when we took the door off. Oh, phew. Okay, we got the bumper off. This is our fancy heavy duty lamp that Very we use. Very heavy duty. Uh, quarter inch aluminum. One that's. Oh, oh dude! Oh, that's smart. Gross. Smart. Uh, really smart. Well, we might have to drain some more of that before we take the engine out. Unplug all the hoses, all the electrical, drain the fluids, and then she'll be ready to be pulled yep. out. In the next video, we're going to be working on cutting out these pieces right here as they're quite rusted. And on this car, we're going to be working on taking off the rest of the front bumper, disconnecting all the hoses and electrical lines so that we can pull out the engine. If you haven't yet, please hit the like button and subscribe as it really helps us out. Leave below in the comments any questions or any ideas you have for the build as we really appreciate it. Most of all, we hope you've enjoyed and have an amazing day. It looks like you are the engine. It's uh, That's electric, right? Because he's only got one brain cell. <laughs> Must be a battery. <laughs>